we've got like a uh hopefully like a seven minute video <laughs> we're gonna i just uh cut some keys for this dodge truck uh we got this right that's right we use uh oe style keys that's the one we cut a dodge and this is the customer's key i'm kidding stratix good brand Anyways, so we're going to use the dodge key we just cut. And I just realized I probably should have just live streamed cutting the key. That probably would have been a more interesting video for you guys. So we're going to do some fun stuff here. We're going to we're gonna program some fobs. And this is an all fobs lost situation. Oh, got that radar detector. So we're going to use uh, just the X431. I actually haven't done an older fob, uh, phobic on one of these dodges with the x431 yet this dodge is like an 01 pickup so it's got no it's not a transponder key it's just a regular old key so we'll go i didn't this is all alive so we'll have to do this jankiness here with click and dodge that's all backwards all right i think i could turn the camera around heck yeah look at that all right now it's not backwards and then we'll go we're in the 16 pin connector um, it's not going to automatically do it, so we're just going to go down. This is an 01. Old school. Yep. It's just a pickup truck. Doesn't take anything stupid. Uh, this is going to be in the BCM, I think. Oh, I think I just clicked the HVAC. No, I don't want to cancel session. I'll go all the way back. This is the joys of live streaming. This is what you guys get to see me, how I really work. I screw everything up. I press all the wrong buttons, and I have to figure it out later. Oh, hey, Keith. Yeah, nothing cool. Yeah. You're happy because I'm using the launch, not the auto. <laughs> this is my cheap launch too, man. This is like the best 500 bucks I've ever spent, I'm telling you. Or best 500 bucks anyone could spend on a scan tool. If it does this. Watch, I'm talking this thing up and we're going to find out this is one of the things that it doesn't do. Oh my god, it's going to take forever getting the HVAC module. Yeah, I know. So we're going to click dodge. This time we're gonna press the right buttons. Cheap launch is great, no complaints. Agreed. Freaking so far, I think there was a, you know what's funny is I tried to do a, um, a calibration on a backup camera on an Explorer, like a 14 Explorer, and uh, it gave me an error. And I was like, oh, well, see, there's one thing it doesn't do. And then, son of a gun, I can't press the right buttons. So then I, uh, I went and got the IDS and it gave me the same error, so there's end up being something wrong with it. I didn't even, I was gonna do it for the customer for free. I was literally doing like, um, shit. Oh, I had to check engine light, and I was checking it out, and a friend of mine had recently asked me if I could do one on it, so I wanted to see if any of my aftermarket tools would do it so I didn't have to drag a VCM, a VCM2 out there. So I was going for like, could this, could this launch do it? So I had a little problem with mine, kept shutting off on me. Jake, was it the launch? It kept shutting off. It's taking forever. This is old, like 01 Dodge. This is like J1850 protocol. Foreskin's a little golden nugget. Yeah, it is. Oh man, Foreskin for Do for uh, for for Foreskin is a Ford thing, and it is freaking legit. It's like a hidden gem. Most technicians I talked to have never heard of it. All right, so we'll get in the BCM. Let's see if it's got special functions. Jake, that's weird. That, that's what I hate, okay? So I get one of these tools, right? And I get all excited because I do a video on the tool and it's, I think it's great. Oh, look, program RKEs, yep. And um, I do a video on it and I think it's great. And then somebody else gets one and then sure enough, they have a problem with it. And I feel horrible because I've had a really good experience with mine. Uh, yes, it's going to clear all of them. So this is a all, all, um, all the phobics have been lost on this truck. This is a guy I work with, Brent. And he, um, he said that all the, all the, he never had one in the truck. And I don't know if you guys see this, but this is an 01 Dodge pickup. And look how freaking clean this is. This is like, look at the dash. This is an 01 Dodge truck. And the whole outside's like this too. So this thing is like legit dodged. I mean, look at the steering wheel. Look how clean that is. It's not all tore up. 
I know, right? You guys don't even have you guys don't have O1 Dodges like this up there at all. Every time I go up there and look at the seats, look at all this stuff. I'm legit just digging the fact this thing's in good shape. Like the headliner, all of it's I mean the whole thing. This looks like a 2012 or something. But it's a 01 pickup. It, but all of his stuff's like this, dude. All of Brent's stuff he's got is like this. He's got a lifted Jeep that's pretty freaking sweet too. Anyways, so all all phobics were lost, so we have to use a scan tool. If we had one phobic, we could do it with just the phobic. The finger-operated button intelligence keyless entry thing, whatever. Whatever the hell phobic stands for. Key fob. All right, so we're going to press OK. Key fob 1. You will have five seconds. All right, so I got to play a juggling game because I'm holding the phone and this. And so I got I got these. I should have pulled these off the key ring. So we'll get this one in my hand. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna have to like do something goofy with holding you guys. I'm gonna. All right, here here we go. Okay. I'm going to use this finger. All right, use this hand through the steering wheel because that's safe. And I'm gonna press the button. Press OK. Press the lock. Press unlock. Oh, I heard him. I heard him. We'll press OK. We'll verify it here in a second when I when I do the other one. That one's been programmed, so let me make sure I don't try to program the same one twice. Press OK. Communicate. Programmed. Cool. Press OK. We'll press two with my pinky. And then we'll press OK. And then I'll press unlock and lock. Oh yeah, I heard it. Alright, so we're gonna press OK. Been programmed. What does it say here? We get to clean work. Heck yeah, man, dude, Oklahoma's where it's at. We don't have rust. Like, I've worked on cars in the north, and I do not pity you guys at all. I could not do your job. I would not be a technician in the north. All right, key fob one and two programmed. Okay. Make sure these work. Oops. Oh, I can hear it. Heck yeah, Josh. Dude, that's where it's at. This diagon. I'm I'm an Ontel guy for real. Keith knows that. Me and Keith, we when we get when we get to drinking, we both start arguing about which which uh which is better, awful tell, which is what Keith calls it, or uh, launch. Oh, hey, what's up, Eric? No, it's a little lunchtime, and one of the guys Brent I work for needs some phobics, phobic. Yeah, okay, Keith. Program. So we're done. That was boring. There was no problem. I didn't have to go get the DRB3 emulator. That was too easy. I bet I bet it bricks something. Cause I what else will this do? The Nautel. <laughs> That's right. Go Eric. Autel forever. I love it, but at the same time, this thing is legit. So I am I dig it. Like I said, I feel bad, Jake, Jake B, because I I told you to get one, and then you get one, and you're having problems, and I'm sorry. But, but uh, contact the... That's right, Diagon 4. Autel would still be booting up. <laughs> Shut up, Keith. This thing does load pretty quick. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to take over the Autel, because when we go to, like, graphing data on this little thing, ah, uh, man, this it ticks me off. <laughs> Anyways, if I'm trying to graph data, this thing doesn't do the job. The Autel's where it's at for graphing data. I know Keith loves the Maxisys. I know he does. So sorry if you guys are if you guys are watching this afterwards. There's a live chat, and we got we got Eric O and and Keith DeFazio, DeFazio. They're in there messing with each other. So we're done. I'm gonna get out of Brent's truck. Um, just one time, Jake, did it shut off? Yeah, so anyone watching this afterwards thinks I'm crazy, but I'm talking to people in the live chat. The Maxis sisters. <laughs> shut up. Oh. All right, so it's hot in Oklahoma still. It is like 80-something degrees. We've got Paul out there. Paul's taking a smoky break.
All right, I'm done. So, oh, 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 oh yeah, by the way, I took the little clamp from my hood clamp thing and put it on the, uh, the VCI because uh, I let my apprentice borrow it and Caleb decided to leave it in the car. So that was almost a $500 whoopsie. So we're gonna, I still love you, Caleb. Pull before flight. Yeah, I have one on there, but it looked goofy and I couldn't get it to stick well. So I literally just took the four bolts out, slid it out a little bit, tucked this in there and then put it back and it works good. It's for Caleb, it's not for me. I paid for it, so, you know, I won't forget. Sent mine for a few rides down the road. Jesus, Brent, this thing is loud. All right, we're done, guys. The keys are cut for this thing. Why is it dinging like there's a light on? Is it just a Dodge and I gotta turn the little lock cylinder? Yeah just a dodge so there you go guys you got this problem let's see let's see if i can get it god you guys i'm sure are dizzy about to throw up watching me i hate recording on my cell phone i'm not good with the camera there we go oh yeah you can go all see you can go all the way back and then you just got to go forward for accessory yeah i'm gonna go tell brent he needs a whole new truck because it's broke but i'll take this old one i'll take this old beat up dodge of his i mean it's ugly anyways look at this interior Look at the seat. Oh, see, it's broke. Something's wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's broke. See this, this is, see, whole truck's worth like $4. So, all right guys, everyone have a good lunch. It's broke, did right, and I'll take it off his hands for dirt. I'll give him a couple hundred bucks for it. I'll, I'll be a good guy. We'll walk his truck from here. Oh, it honked. So we'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go enjoy some some food, some chicken and veggies. And we got a X5 BMW that's squatted to the ground, suspension's all broke, just pulled in. That's gonna be money. All right, boys, we'll see you later.